Good morning, YouTube fam. I'm gonna walk again with guess who? Buddy. Ace in the house. Sleep. Yeah. Uh, my nep my nephew then my two nephews, they're still over. What was I thinking this weekend to have them over? Ace is taking control. He wants them to come over so bad. He's taking control. He don't want to share. He want to win the game. But when somebody else play, um, he don't want nobody to, he don't want anybody to leave him on the game as they playing together. But then when it's his time to leave him on the, the game, when he can, he leaves him. Then he cried. And I said, put up the game. They don't want to watch this movie. The other one to watch this one. The other one to watch this one. I am whew, really done. So um, we're going out of town to a church meeting today to <clears throat> to um, Winter Haven. It's about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what you want to um, how fast you drive. So um, we're going out of town there. Um, just for um, it starts at 12, and we'll be back later on this evening. I live for going out of town to these church meetings and so I really love it. You know, I love going to, well, flesh don't like going to church, but um, my soul really love it. And when we have the um, big meetings, come on buddy, come on. When we have the big meetings, I really love that. I get to see all of the my other sisters and brothers in the Lord that I only see once a month. They're coming from different cities. Yeah, but um, we're doing that today. Also, okay, YouTube fam, YouTube fam, you tell me. Whoo. With my son Sergio, you know when they get a certain age, he just—I I have to thank the Lord. First of all, he's not in the street. As far as I know, he's not selling drugs. How you doing? As far as I know, he's not doing anything illegal in the streets. He goes to church. He goes to work. And he has a girlfriend. Um, she works. But some things that he do which show him lack of responsibility really angers me. By having his responsibility in the correct order. Um and you know, I got so mad today, this morning, talking to him. And I just hung up in his face. Then he texts me back. If you're gonna hang up in my face, don't call my phone no more. He's 22 years old. Whew, Jesus, and he normally don't talk to me like that. But he's one of them that is not him pet, if I can say. He won't let a woman control him, which I thank the Lord for that, because I ain't raised no him pick man. I can't raise a man anyway. It take a man to raise a man. But, ooh, this so pretty. I like how that look. That, um, you know, how it's picking up this, me on this camera. But anyway, so he, um, Oh, I got to keep walking. I can't stop. Got my running app on. So, um, yeah. A woman can't raise no man. We, we can raise women, but we can't raise no man. But what we can do, we can tell them how a man should behave. That's why it's a, it takes a man to raise a man and a woman to raise a woman. Um, 
shout out to everybody that liked that comment about staying in the bed past 10 o'clock for a young boy. You can do it for your daughters too, but I don't have daughters, but I knew definitely for a man, my um, brother and my brother and my daddy them was like that, the men. And we, my mama and them got us out the bed, but definitely no men. Those young boys, mm -mm. they ain't play that. So that's why I said take a man and raise a man. We we may say we I rate you a lot of people say you raise some decent young men. And I was like, it's to help thank God because I said it's not me raising them as a man. I said it's um the bishop of our church, my daddy, my brother, the pastor, the um deacons, all of them, because they didn't have a father figure really in their life. Um, that lived in the house with us. So I took them to them. I kept them in church. You know, and it helped their soul and it helped them being raised as a man. But, you know, he just... I, I said some things I shouldn't have said. I told him. I called him. Because, I, you know, I tell him, if you're going to say something, you, you, you be mad enough to say it. Don't text it. I always tell my, my um, two boys that. So I called him. He didn't pick up the phone after he texted me that message. Don't hang up in his face no more. If I'm gonna call him, while I'm hang up in his face. If I gonna, if I'm gonna do that, don't call, don't call no more. Okay. So he wouldn't pick up after he texted me that. Then I um, texted him. I said, um, you won't have to worry about me calling you. I said, on top of that, my prayers have stopped as well as of now. The calling and prayers have stopped for you as of now. <clears throat> yeah. Shouldn't have said that, huh? Even though I'm still praying for my child. I'm still praying for him. But he ain't got to know that. Yeah. Picking up his pieces. Out of all my children, he was the, the breastfed one. I wanted to breastfeed my first one, but I kept a fever so high, and they had to give me medicine to I can't I couldn't breastfeed him. The first one, Stevano, with Sergio, he's the second one. He was five, so I was able to breastfeed him. And for Ace, I was working so much, I wasn't able to. So let me walk out this way. So yeah. So I thank the God, like I was saying, I thank the Lord that he's not in the streets or anything. And that he attends church and he loves the Lord. And But I'm pissed, you know. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Get your variety straight. Your priorities straight. Keep that responsibility and get your priorities straight. Young people. You know, and when I when I had said, as far as I know, he's not in the street doing nothing illegal. As far as I know, he's not in the street disrespecting. I raised my child to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. And I know it's not a slavery thing to me. It's respect to me. And the reason why I feel that way, this is my feelings, because the majority of the children that disrespect me, and I, I normally get some comments about this, and if you're my friend, tell me how you feel, that I've encountered, yeah, no, what, what, and the, and the ones that I have encountered, yes ma'am, no ma'am, the ones that I have, I have, they have not disrespected me. I didn't say they haven't did anything wrong, but they have not disrespected me and they seem really respectful. So, um, so I raised my child. My mama didn't raise us like that. I raised my children like that. I have no regret. I get so many comments. How, res how, how um, respectful they are and this and that. 
And I give all the glory back to the Lord and to the men that's been in my children's family. But, as I was saying when I said, I don't know what he's in the street doing because some parents will say, you tell them, I saw your child doing this. Or I saw your child over there saying this. Or I saw your child, I saw your child. And the parents will say, my child ain't do that. My child don't do that. My child, oh, my child ain't say that. I know my child don't talk like that and get all pissed off and mad and stuff. But then think about it. You don't know what your children do when you're not around. Did your parent know everything you did when you when you were around them? No. I was raised in a church. My daddy was the chairman deacon. No, my daddy was on the deacon board. My mama was a praying woman in the church, a special place for praying women in the church. We went to church Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday, and I thank the Lord for it. Same church I'm in, I'm in now. That's what I was raised in from the age of, we became a part of this church when I was eight years old. So, um, but when I got with my friends at school, the respect was there. Yes, ma'am, no ma'am, I was too scared to disrespect somebody, a grown person. But I, when I got with my friends at school, I cursed. I went here, I drank that and all of that. I cursed around my friends and and you probably saw me in, talking with a group of boys, laughing, switching, all of that. But in front of my mom and dad, it was a different story. Hypocrite, you want to call me? That's what you want to call me? You can call me. But all I'm saying is, parents, don't tell nobody that your child don't do this and don't do that. Don't tell nobody that. When your child is not around you, you don't know what they're doing. Just think about you, the things you did when your parents wasn't around. You feel me? I'm telling you. So, yeah. And another thing, parents, I'm on the parents' part. Um, there's te um, some teachers will come and tell you, you know, your child doing this, your child disrupted and everything. You know, listen to the story and everything. But like I said, you don't know. You don't know what your child's doing when you're not around. You don't know. You surely don't know. But, um, yeah. So, um, I am going to take Buddy on back in. I guess that was about a few minutes walk. I track it. I don't know how long, but, oh, this thing said 12 minutes. I'm gonna do a 15 minute and walk around this way. But yeah, so, oh, I hope y'all, by the time this video go up, my other video would have went up on my first um, moving vlog. It's not much, but it's, you know, showed me packing and it showed me, um, show how the apartments look on the outside. Yep. Yeah, um, I am on offer up selling stuff. Yep, yep, yep. So I can get that on out the way. I wanted to give a shout out. I said I'm gonna try to give a shout out to at least one of my YouTubers. Um every time I do a video. And I cannot remember. Y'all, I'm bad with names, even with my students' names. They be like, they just bust out and laugh at me. By the end, middle of the year, if I still don't know them, the, the different names. But, um, I think her name is Eleanor. 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 Something like that. But she know who I am. She told me that she had a seven-month-old son. <laughs> and she made a comment on the video when I said, um, about waking your sons up. Don't let them sleep. In the bed past 10. And she said she have a seven month old son and she gonna um keep keep she gonna remember that or she gonna try to remember that or or, or something she said about the comment. So shout out to you, not for the com you know, I ain't shouting out you for the comment, but I just wanna shout out to you for being one of my family members on YouTube. Yeah. I feel so special. 
because I have three types of family. Well, really four types. Well, three types because the school that I teach at is the same church that I, I attend. I'm a part of. I got a natural family, my blood family. Shout out to y'all. I have a spiritual family, my church family. Shout out to y'all. And I have a YouTube family. My subscriber family. Shout out to y'all. And sometimes I have some family they haven't subscribed to me. They just pass them by, but they come by every now and then. Leave a comment and keep on going and they don't subscribe. You know, we got some of them family members in our life. We do a cookout, come by. You don't see them for umpteen time. They hear about that cookout. They come by, eat, take plates with them. Don't bring nothing with them to help um, feed the people. But they go on coming by. You can take place with them. Leave you don't see them no more until another cook eye. It'll be umpteen years. Shout out to y'all. Subscribers that's just passing by every now and then. All right. My lot is blinking. Love you all. Love you, love you. You want to see my spiritual family today and my natural family because they are part, some of them are a part of the same church as well. That's all poo, the poo look pretty good there but i need to um i don't want to get this hair messed up i would love a swim this morning but no 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 all right then talk to you later look at that. i can't even close it up see ya i just wanted to get back on here i thought about something but i had said when i was walking about i don't want to henpeck sons chill sons i don't want to be henpeck <clears throat> well a woman tell them what to do now I'm not talking about on the jobs. And even in that, what I'm trying to make myself kind of clear as I can make it. I'm talking about taking control in the household. You know, I'm, and I'm not talking about me because I am the mama. And I told him I'd be the mama even in my grave. I'd still be your mama. So you respect me. And, um, but what I'm saying is. I, I don't want my son to be handpicked where a woman control the household. Now, that's not saying they can't sit down and talk. And if she's right, you know, for him to, you know, listen and agree or what, agree or whatever. But I'm saying, like, what you, you, she's taking control. You know, if, if, I don't know how to explain myself, but I don't want no handpicked man. I'm quite sure the real women out there don't want no henpeck men either. And I'm the man that can take control. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, and I ain't talking about no beating, no verbal abuse, none of that. But like, baby, you know, I hear what you're saying or uh, whatever, you know. Uh, we done talked and discussed some matter and he said, but I still, you, you do it how I say do it. And I'd be like, okay, boo. Because <laughs> if it fall down, it's going to crumble on him. But that was just, I'm just, you know, acting silly right now. But, yeah, so I don't think that I teach my children to disrespect women. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. They already saw their mom like that in one relationship and quickly got out of that one when it started. And it was some years after it started. And on one part that I recognized, or the other one, it hadn't already, and I had not recognized it at that, you know, when it first started. But, um, yeah, I did a video on um, verbal and mental abuse, the secrets of verbal abuse or something like that. Go check it out. You'll hear my story. You will hear my you will hear my story. But I teach my children to respect women. Definitely. To be a man of your word. I tell them that you have to, you know, people recognize you as a man of your word, a woman of your word. Be of your word. But I don't want no him pick. Well, woman, run him. Run my boys. No, and I'm not telling them to to run the women, but to learn how to discuss it out and, you know, talk it out and stuff. So I just want to come over here and make that clear that um, teachers tell them what to do in the classroom. Um, I tell them, you know, 
That's why he said, I got to hurry up and get out, mama. I'm, I'm, and the only reason why he holding on is because, you know, he want to be here to help me. But the other one already left. It hurt at me, but I say it's time for him to go because if not, just I don't want him to be you do you you doing what your mama say do no 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 no. Get out, learn, learn how to start becoming a man. Get on that, baby. I love you. You ain't disrespectful. You been respectful. I thank God for you. But you gotta go because if not, I'll be hurting you if I keep holding you. In longer and you're 20 years old this one my first one moved out 20 20 years old so and the other one just turned 21 yeah look at that camera and um yeah so I'm moving on when I move on back to where I'm moving on to then he'll be on his own so hey he they got to know that mama ain't gonna be there all the time there's mm -mm. like Ace Room. Mama, I hurt myself. I hurt my knee. I said, Boy, suck. Let me see it. Ain't that much blood. I said, Let me see it closer. Oh, and I thump it. <laughs> he said, Mama. I said, mm, You forgot about that hurting. And you feel that thump, don't you? And he just shake his head. But I want him to know. And I said, Now go ahead on in there. I said, If there, if you fall down, you hurt yourself. And it's just bleeding a little bit. What, what you do? Wipe it off. I said, well, Go wipe it off. Teach them that mama ain't going to be there to pick up the pieces all the time. You learn. When you fall, you fall down and you bump your head. You you fall down in life. Mama ain't going to be there. And I don't never tell my children I'll be there always. If so, that's a lie. If we tell our children we're going to be there for them always, that is a lie. Because we don't know if when our day is done here. And we don't know if we way on, on cross something, the world... Our town and right then and there, they need help. That is, that's a lie. I never told my children I'd be with them all the time. Never. Because my parents never told me that. Yep. Yep. So we got to watch what we tell our children. So I tell them, hey, you, go in there, wipe it off yourself. Pick up your pieces. In life. Pick up your pieces in life. Train them now. Train them now. I'm still learning a whole lot. But the little I do know, believe me, I stuck with them ever since they were, when they were first born. I stuck with them because I saw the results of my parents, how my parents raised my um, brothers and me and my sister. I saw the results. So why not stick to something? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You ain't got to try to fix it. But I want to come in here and say that. So um, if you meet my children, my ch my son, and they they'll say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. And um, they, if you if, for the women's, you say you know um, could you go get me this right there? Uh, uh, uh you talk to them about something. Be yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yeah, I go yes, ma'am. I go get that. What you need? I'm not talking about that part, but I'm talking about being a henpeck man. When a woman running you, running, running you, I don't care how nobody feel about this. No, no. Stand up and be a real man. Stand up and be a real man. All right, then. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Hi, we're at the Higgy Machine. Today is way in Wednesday, so let's get started. Is it? Hello, YouTube No, it didn't fall. What's wrong with it? It's supposed to be like that. All right, so the Higgy machine. And this is my blood pressure, 140 over 79. Um, last time I believe it was 135 or something like that. I don't know. And then uh, my... B BPM is 68, which is normal, so 140 over 79. All right, so let me get into the other part, the weighing. Hold on just a minute. Here, Ace, you do, you hold it. I'm, I'm checking my weight, so 
Wait a minute, can't nothing be on me? Get the blanket off me, get the blanket off of me. <laughs> All right. I can feel it on my foot. Mommy, I can't, I can't see it. Don't look at all okay, the Okay, this way. I'll let you know when to get up. Come on, look at your okay, hair. Come on. Get up. Yeah. Ace is recording, y'all. All right. Can I see it? Okay. Ouch. 257. And then 4277. It had went down so oh, hold on. Broken over it. You were right. Because my knee is feeling so much better. It's not hurting like it was. It's really feeling better. My back and my knee. I don't feel like any fluid is on it. So um my um body mass index went down. Um what was this? What was 260 last time? Now it's 257. So you were right. So hey, thank you. I'm hanging in there. Okay, you can stop it, Ace.